boo hooed. Boo hooed because I was not prepared. I want you to know that girl, you got it. What's up, y'all? It is the first day of the first week of school. I feel like I look crazy, but anyway, I'm still in my robe. Yes, I'm currently just um, working. Um, it's not you know right now so i wanted to come on here real quick and just give y'all a little update so i finished my nursing um not nursing but i finished my cna class y'all i passed which i didn't doubt that i would have would not pass i didn't doubt that i would pass so yeah um i got an 89 on my final test or whatever and um it was like a hundred questions now I told myself I was not going to get less than a 90 because I know these, I know this stuff. Like, I mean, honestly, it's not even about knowing it. It's just about the fact that in reality, all of this stuff is common sense. Like it really, like the options that they give you is common damn sense. Like, so, um, the other couple times I didn't take it, I never got anything lower than a 90. When I took the actual state board, I, I got a 93. So, like, in those questions, it's only 70 of those, I believe. Um, and it was 100 of the ones that I took. But I'm going to say this. If you are going to be in a CNA class, you've never done CNA work before or never went through the process with CNA um, boards and all of that please just make sure to study the stuff that is really like study your positioning meaning supine prone um flowers or flowers i think that's how you say it yeah i think that's how you say it those type of positioning study those um i feel like it's really nothing else to study everything else is common sense study your um um rights patient rights um yeah that's pretty much it everything else is really like it's just kind of just go with the best answer that sounds the best like because that's how stupid the questions be or not stupid the questions be but stupid the answers be i can't even think of no dumbass answers a do you pick a patient up b do you call 911 c do you call the family d do you um notify the nurse what, what what the hell answer you think it's gonna be? It's always notify the nurse. Let me tell you that. Let me put you up on game. If if a question has notify the nurse on it, it's always notify the nurse. It's always notify the nurse. It don't ever say notify the nurse in the answers if it's not notify the nurse. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But yeah, so I passed that. Um I didn't study for it. It wasn't, she didn't give us nothing to study. Like, it wasn't no study guide or nothing like that. So, yeah. But, um, I passed that. I, my test is on the 4th, which this, yeah, y'all will probably see this before I take the test. So, yeah. But, yeah, I just wanted to give y'all that quick update. Um, I'll be taking my test in less than two weeks, well, in about two weeks now. And I'm ready to get it over with, honestly, because I, I need to get me a CNA job. Like, I really want to work close with the nurse. I want to um, be able to observe a nurse because um, I've never worked in the hospital setting as a CNA. I've always worked where the nurse was um, either the um, manager or um, DON. That's all. Like, I worked in assistant living. So I've never worked in skilled nursing. Baby, that's just too much. That's too much. That's... And back then, they wasn't paying like they paying now. So, I definitely wasn't working in no damn skilled living making $12. No, I'll be fine with my little $10. I ended up making 12 when I moved to St. Louis. But... And I was in assistant living. Like, I'm not about to work no skilled living. Now I will. I will now for what they be paying through these traveling um, CNA agencies. But I won't do that often. Like, I'd rather try to work in a hospital setting. 
what's up y'all it is the night before my first day of school i'm excited i'm not nervous i'm more excited than i am nervous i'm really just like nervous about the workload and things like that just being back in that school mindset but anyway um i did hear back from one of the pre um, people that i sent my or applied to with my, in my health system that i'm with now um, for a cna position he actually is hiring for um skilled living for our system but he offered to send my resume and my email that i sent him to the um, resource team that handles hospital patients so i'm grateful for that <laughs> to say the least because um I spoke with my cousin and we kind of like going over everything when it comes to skilled living I've only worked assistant living working in the hospital and I feel like I'll work closer with a, a nurse um working in the hospital setting and that's probably why he offered that because I did say that I was going to nursing school um and in in nursing homes you really don't work that close with the um nurse like you might work with the med aid or um, LPM, maybe a nurse, but they just pass meds. They don't really like work closely, closely with you like they do in the hospital setting. So I just went ahead and decided to have him just refer my my um, information over to that um, person's the person who runs that department. So he was really nice about it. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will get a call from them. I do see one of my applications change status. Um, it went to interview pending, but I have not received a call yet, which that just changed today. So hopefully I'll receive a call from her tomorrow and that's for rehab. It's not with the resource team, but I think it's still a floating position. I believe, I don't know, but it's part-time, which is more so what I'm looking for right now. I really would like to have a part-time job and be able to pick up shifts. That's what I would like, but we'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to give y'all that update. I'm about to, I'm just going over my um studies with the CNA book, which I feel like I have it down packed to be honest, like, but I'm going over that and then um I'm just getting my book bag to ready and setting my alarms and stuff, y'all. So yeah, so when I get off, all I have to do Shit, I forgot I got to cook. Um, because I'm going to make lunch. I'm not going to. I mean, maybe I'll make that tomorrow. I might make that tomorrow. Yeah, because I'll get out of school at 5. So, I'll probably make my spaghetti um tomorrow instead. Because I don't feel like doing that. I might just make chicken salad tonight and just do a chicken salad sandwich. Which is was one of my plans, but I don't got no chips. Chill. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But I've been craving some um garlic bread. But anyway, I just wanted to get you, give y'all that update. I will see y'all tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll like record my whole process of waking up and stuff. Maybe. If if I have time. I mean I plan to wake up fairly early, about an hour and a half before I have to get to class. Um because, baby, they say they, they lock them doors at 9. I mean, at 8. So, well, at the start of class. So, yeah. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, my people. So, it is officially the first day of nursing school. So, y'all, it's about 7.15 now. And I'm just warming up my car. I live about 20 minutes-ish away. Um, really a little bit less than 20 minutes, but I'll just say about 20 minutes away. And, oh, I'm glad I saw this. But yeah, I live about 20 minutes away, so, damn, I forgot my fucking drink. And I went back in that damn house. Fuck. Oh, I don't feel like going back in there again now. But, yeah, so I woke up took my shower did all of that type of stuff then I went ahead and got dressed and um made me a little breakfast I just made some turkey bacon and some boiled eggs 
if y'all like want something simple to eat in the morning that's definitely a great option you can put the turkey bacon in the microwave for about a minute and a half and then um just get boiled already boiled eggs from like target i get mine from target or either harris teeter or whatever your local grocery store is i just slice them things up put a little salt and pepper on the eggs and then that's just that usually is my breakfast if i'm on the go type of breakfast um i wanted to make a sandwich today but i didn't have any avocado so yeah but um i'm glad i didn't because i didn't even have time for that i woke up at well i woke up at 6 12 like i put my alarm on at 6 12 so i woke up at 6 12 but i ended up um like laying in bed until 6 30 because that was the original time i wanted to get up i just wanted to be able to snooze it a couple times but um yeah so i'm um just waiting on my car to defrost and then we're heading out all right y'all so i'm on a quick break it's about 10 45 is it really 10 47 already i'm about to have to go right back in but um y'all so i have i got my schedule and i did not have the teacher that i have now like the i think i might have told y'all about this teacher she said that it would be a test the first day i did not have her i had this other teacher so I'm in the other teacher's class. You know, we haven't really, we haven't gotten started. I think he was just going over roll call and the other teacher walked in and asked him did she did he have any of her students. And so he tells us to look at the canvas and see who is on our canvas. So I look and it's her ass, y'all. When I say I am so irritated because I did not like and it's my fault as well as theirs because I feel like they should have made a bigger announcement Ain't nobody checking that damn email yet like I mean I didn't I personally my, myself I did not check that email so over the weekend because they found out about this I guess Friday after our orientation we had so it came out that I had the teacher that said it was gonna be a test the first day I'm literally having to like go over this stuff real quick it's not it don't seem like it's gonna be a hard quiz it's up just the um ions and elements the um names and the um symbols so I'm just gonna go over those I already really pretty much know the um ions I mean not the ions but the elements symbols because those are fairly easy to know. Um, for the most part, it's just the first letter, except for iron is F-E, and then um, chloride, or no, it's not chloride, it's um, chloride is, chloride is an ion. What is it, chloride and chlorine. Chlorine is the element and that's cl and then calcium well that's ca so but i know the elements it's just the fact of knowing the ions and the um poly atomic polyatomic um ion so the names and symbols so the poly the poly i don't know why i can't say this but polyatomic atomic polyatomic ion and symbol i'm not familiar with like that so those are the ones that i really need to know and then when it comes to the ions it's really only two with the two plus and that's the magnesium and the calcium and then the um chloride and i iodine those have negatives so i pretty much know the ions i'm i'm confident in those but like the polyatomic girl so i'm trying to learn those real quick but i'm about to go back in and go ahead and just go to the restroom one thing i am gonna have to do is get me some more of those celsius because that helped me that one day in class um when i was doing my cna class and i've been yawning all fucking morning so and it's like i'm not tired it's just it's kind of boring but i feel like it's a lot that i'm gonna have to study y'all 
so yeah just wanted to give y'all that quick update oh what's up y'all so i'm on lunch break i just kind of got done eating my lunch i got a little bit to snack on but i wanted to give y'all update on how the quiz went i'm done with my first part of my class next is lab um but so y'all <laughs> I don't know how I did it, baby. Which that was that was something easy. Like I would have if I would have actually had time, like knew about this test, I would have definitely been able to pass it. But I got a hundred percent on that quiz. Okay. Normally she will let us use our notes on quizzes. That type of quiz is not really something you have to use your notes on. Like it's it's not like and I that's not something I would want to use my notes on. I want to know those symbols. Like, it's something that you need to know. You know, it's not just, like, words. It's actual symbols to words that you need to, to names that you need to know. So, I got 100. First quiz. So, I know that'll be it. So, she, how she does it is we have eight quizzes, four of them. I guess the grades she gets rid of so I guess she's trying to give us a lot of quizzes to where um, it'll be our grades will she'll take the best grades the four of the best ones and keep those you know to give us the best grade you know just in case this might be a quiz that we wasn't really too good on or whatever but yeah so I think that's cool um, I like her I mean I definitely like the teacher I just I just didn't know how this was gonna go I, I feel like everything happens for a reason it's a reason why I'm not in the other person's class and I'm in hers maybe I'm gonna learn more from her like I don't know but yeah so I have a lot to go over tonight um, and tomorrow I have to study chapters one and through three one and three one through three yeah chapters one through three um that's gonna be a lot <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest I, with myself like I know it's gonna be a lot of work but you know um one of the girls from it seems like she's probably got a year left she said she's at the last stretch I don't know how because she said she got 366 days left ain't that a year 360 in a year 356 days I don't know but yeah that's how many days she said she got left so it seems like she's a six months in and she was like their class started off with 30 people which ours starts off with 35 and she was like they are now down to 11 so or no, she said down to seven. I think she said seven, not 11. It was seven or 11 students that they're down to. She said it's not to discourage y'all, but just to let y'all know, you know. But I'm just like, damn, I can't even imagine. Like, it's 35 of us. It's almost like you're fucking on a reality TV show. Like, um, Flavor of Love type of situation or The Bachelor or something. Like, and... You know, you start off with 20 girls or whatever, and y'all slowly but surely get down to one. But in our case, it's slowly but surely going to get down to fewer than 35. Now, I pray that all of us, you know, go through the program and we do good and we make it out together. But, you know, it doesn't always happen like that. Life happens and, um, yeah, life happens. You know, you may not do great in a a class but I also feel like the reason why people don't really get through is because they end up failing one of the classes that that's probably a lot of the reasons why the class gets smaller because someone is gonna fail a class and when you fail a class you don't go along with your with your same group you have to wait until the next opening come up um for that class which could be months from now so months from when you fail that class so I'm gonna just try my hardest like I'm really 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 ready to just get another job to where I can you know 
lessen the days that I, the amount of days I'm working. Um, cause I don't think that my work schedule now is going to work throughout. The, I know it's not going to work throughout the program. So yeah, I just really need a job where I can just work 12s, work my three twelves. You know, if I need to put in a PTO day, put in a PTO day, but like just work my 12s. Like, but this is something that is going to get, I'm going to have to get used to as far as just all the studying. I'm not used to that. Like, I don't even, I don't remember studying when I was in medical assistant school. And I know I did, but I'm just saying, I really don't remember. I feel like it's more so just doing the homework. She said the homework is like 90% of what's going to be on the test. So, hopefully just doing the homework and just doing my flashcards, because I'm a flashcard type of learner. Like, I've definitely discovered that. I am going to look up some other ways of studying <clears throat> to see if maybe another type of studying helps me. But I am more of a flashcard type of learner. Like, I like to have, like, especially when it comes to definitions, I like to have the word and the meaning on the back. And then I like to, you know, read the mean meaning and then figure out what answer it is or either vice versa read the um word and then say the meaning so i'm gonna go by the store probably by walmart because i need to get some groceries too so when i leave here i'll probably go to walmart i'm gonna go to stop at dds too because i have to get some more scrubs but yeah i'm probably not gonna record um my when I go, I'm probably not going to record Thursday. And I'll probably record Friday to let y'all know what happened on Friday. But, yeah. What's up, y'all? So, I'm back home. So, we first week first. So, we are done with our first day of school. So, y'all, it is a lot of work to do. But, um, one thing is my other class it shouldn't be much work it's like an orientation type of class so i think the things that we have on here for that class is stuff that we do in class hopefully um uh, because it's like a four hour class four and a half hour class not yeah four and a half hour class so but i'm about to do my chapter one through three well about to do my uh, let me see. Hopefully it's chapter one through three. Um, <clears throat> unit one review guides. Okay. So, no, it's separate. All three are separate. So, <clears throat> I need to really do all three of these chapters assignments by tomorrow. They're not due until Sunday night. But at the same time, I have a, I have a quiz on Thursday. So I really want to complete these chapter assignments at least by tomorrow night to at least have an overview of everything. I don't know. I really, I mean, the quizzes are open notes, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out, y'all. Just trying to figure it out. I'm going to at least try to do the easier problems or things on the assignments and just I don't know but anyway I'm about to cook um I bought some more scrubs from Dee Dee's as well as a couple other things I think I got a pair of leggings um that a color that I don't have and then um a two-piece like um workout set so I'll try those on with y'all. I'm probably not going to do the leggings, but, um, well, I can since I haven't done a leggings haul for them in a little minute. I love their leggings. Um, shout outs to Gina, okay, for putting your girl on. And luckily, Charlotte brought one here, um, in July of this, of last year. July of last year, they brought Adidas to Charlotte because before I had to go to the Adidas when, whenever I went out of town, which, I went in Miami when I got my body done. And then I also went to Dee Dee's in Atlanta every time I used to go back and forth earlier last year. 
um i will go to dd's to get me some leggings child that's where all of my leggings is from except for i just bought a new pair the other week but the last time i would the first time i went into this dd's in charlotte they ain't have no leggings if they did they might have only had black or something because i got a bunch of black ones but yeah i'm gonna try that on for y'all i'm gonna just finish getting dinner started um boyfriend is coming over which he really shouldn't be but i want him to because he won't be able to come over the next few days so um because i just i don't want to have any distractions the night before i go to work even though he's really not distracting because his ass go to sleep at the drop of dawn but um yeah so that's the plan for tonight so i'll see y'all when i do my try on all right y'all so excuse the mess in the background but um this top i had a long time ago when i worked for novant so i'm just gonna wear this top with these navy blue bottoms this top is um indigo but these are navy blue you can you probably can't sell on camera but you can sell in person like i mean it's not that big of a difference but the um it's indigo is a deeper blue than um navy but yeah so these are the bottoms these bottoms were $10.99 I got them because I really love the band it's a stretchy band these are a size large yes I really like these all right so I wanted to show y'all these real quick I got these for two dollars y'all two dollars and 49 cents See. so don't sleep on these scrubs child but these are not for tall people these is definitely for short people they just hitting my ankle and i'm five four but yeah these fit nice definitely for two dollars they got the pockets i like these so my job that I work, well, the company I work for now, their CNAs wear burgundy. I have not gotten hired for any positions, but I went ahead and just purchased this burgundy. Oh, I ain't got no bottoms on. But um, I went ahead and purchased this burgundy top um, just because I saw it. It was only $6.99, so I went ahead and got it while I could because um, now I could just buy some bottoms to go with it. And then I'm, of course, going to buy at least one other um scrub hair or whatever but yeah so when you see stuff sometimes you gotta get it all right y'all so the top is great it's a size small this was i think 7.99 or something like that yeah 7.99 top 7.99 the bottoms was 9.99 i'm taking them back because look at this I had to put on the shoes to make sure they was really, really high watered. But yes, girl. Hell no. Move action. That looks a hot mess. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to take the bottoms back eventually at some point. I don't know. Well, I definitely know I'm taking them back because this looks crazy as hell. But yeah so these are the famous dd leggings show love 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 these leggings you can never go wrong with these leggings they are everything this is navy blue but y'all can't really tell on camera probably because i can barely tell in person but when they were in the store i could definitely tell that they aren't black but yeah Honestly, I got them and I was just like, when am I going to ever wear a pair of navy blue? <laughs> but, you never know. So, y'all, this is so cute. Y'all will not believe how much this set costs. Some shit you will get off of Shein Fashion Nova for about, at minimum, $15, $29.99. Somewhere in that range, depending on which website. This was only $4.99. Four, four, oh, hold on, and I'll show y'all that right there. Hold on. 
$4.99. Can't beat that. Let me see. <laughs> I wanted to make sure it wasn't no one in front of her. But this whole set was $4.99. Super cute. Lounge set, workout set, or just errand set, airport set, whatever you want it to be. This is the perfect airport set if you're going to somewhere like Miami. You know where it's hot at, but you want to be comfortable on the plane. You got your short sleeves, you know, because I get my um airport outfit that I use, baby. It got long sleeves. It don't. Ha it's not short sleeve. Honestly, I thought this was short sleeve, but it wasn't. I really love this set. I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for more of these sets. There, they did have some more workout sets, but I didn't like them. They were like really bright colors. But yeah, this one is perfect. But yeah, y'all, so that is all that I purchased. I also actually purchased... Did this girl not put my earrings in the bag? I know one thing. It better not be on a receipt. Hold up, y'all. Y'all, so it is Friday, January the 27th. And I just got home from my class. Um, Well, I had some errands to run after it. Um, But I just got home. I'm actually about to complete finish um some of my homework assignments and I wanted to come on here and just give y'all a little quick update I kind of did this this morning but I feel like I looked really crazy like child I had my bonnet on was in bed but anyway oh hold on y'all so I'm actually timing myself because I do not want this clip to be long but I wanted to just give y'all a little update on how my first week of school went so I will say it was overwhelming to say the least um for me what I realized this week for anyone who has not already been to nursing school what I would recommend is for if you have like if y'all are given a laptop or access to y'all you all's canvas or whatever student portal you all use if you are given access to that or given access to any type of assignments or upcoming readings or anything like that, PowerPoints, whatever it is, my school does PowerPoints. We have eBooks and we go through Canvas. All of this information that, that we were going to be doing this week was already on there on Friday. So what I would recommend is for you to go over that. Try to get whatever assignments you can get done so that when she's going over those chapters in class and you just you might have questions on things or when she's going over you already have a mindset of it or you already have some knowledge on it but it's like you are able to fully understand it when she's going over it instead of just only hearing it that first day or that day in general any part of nursing but anyways that's what I've discovered um this first week and I plan to prepare myself the week prior or not week prior like full week but I prepare I will be pre preparing for the upcoming week starting on Saturday or Sunday no later than Sunday because my class my first class is on Tuesday so I plan to do that um so I would just say that's that's a little tip just try to prepare yourself before don't wait until the day of class just to learn something no like try to learn it on your own first and then she can explain it for you or he can explain it for you um another tip is get a printer if your class is like my classes and we have they have powerpoints they go by you can print all of those off if you are a visual learner it's best for you to print those off like we can do our assignments on our computer as far as like I type up my answers on my computer on the worksheet and then I can like have my PowerPoint notes over here instead of having to click different screens. I have my PowerPoints printed off like and I'm good. I think that's a good tip. Just get a printer. They say to get all of this other stuff like if you don't have a stethoscope, you do not need a stethoscope when you first start school. Please do not go and spend your last on this $100, $200 stethoscope. You don't need it. I already had one, so it's not something that I went out and bought. I had mine for medical assistant school, and I didn't even buy that. My friend ended up getting sent two Littman stethoscopes instead of one, and she gave me one. 
make friends okay because i met her in medical assistant school and we still are friends to this day we have in and outs but anyway i only got a minute left um <laughs> Um, my other class was my orientation class. My orientation class went well. I'm glad that they do have that class just because it kind of like help you with the class is based on helping you with time management. Now, I'm not that I am horrible with time management. I am. But and I buy all of these planners and I never use them. But now that I'm in nursing school, I have to use these planners. Like literally, my planner is already... It already has quite a bit on it. I haven't even put the stuff from this this orientation class. But this is the week that I started school right here. And if you can see, these two weeks are full of things to do. Um, I got my work schedule on here as well as when thing, assignments are due, when, I'm, when my classes are, things of that nature. And then on this one, this is my first, this will be my first full month. And I already have this all of this stuff on here these are my due dates and um when i'll have a test when i'll have a quiz um things like that but um let me just stop this because i know it's about to go off but yeah i just wanted to give y'all an update my first week i literally was on a little bit of an emotional roller coaster i will tell you because when i tell y'all wednesday Y'all know I had that first test on the first day, that quiz on the first day. I got 100 on that. But we had another quiz on chapters 1 through 3 um, on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. We had that quiz. Y'all, Wednesday night, I boo-hooed. Boo-hooed because I was not prepared like I felt like if I would have done what I told y'all earlier, if I would have studied before that cl first class or did my homework or assignments before the first class to have, you know, go over the chapter or whatever. If I would have did that, I would have been fine. But I was literally so overwhelmed and I was so like, I was just like, I'm going to fail this class. Is this really for me? Like, you know, because it's like accelerated in medical assistant. It wasn't that bad accelerant in nursing it's a lot it's a lot and I'm only in the first week so I'm not saying this to discourage or anything like that but I'm just saying like in your first week in your first weeks give yourself at least that full term to figure out if this is what you really want to do don't just say after the first few days or the first week, don't say it's not for you because that's not, it's just that you haven't been in school so in so long that not, all of this is kind of new. Like, and it's like a little overwhelming. You're having to learn um, how to access things, how to upload things. You're having to learn how to do all of that. But at the same time, learn new other new things like academically. So it's like... A lot it's a lot to get used to but I trust me after your first week I feel like in an accelerated program after your first week you'll be good like you'll know what you're supposed to do after that first week okay well these assignments this is how it class is generally ran this is how you know you'll learn your teachers and things like that and you'll you'll do great like I feel like now I feel better about everything and I feel like I'm not it won't be my last time crying, but like, I definitely feel like calmer and more relaxed and like, okay, I just have to be more organized. I have to actually set aside time. Okay, I get out of school at 1.30 today. I need to go home. I need to do my assignments from 3 to 7. Like today, that's what I'm doing. 3 to 7.30ish is what I, when I'll be doing all of my assignments, trying to get them finished, hopefully by then type of thing you just have to manage your time well honestly it's just all about that and making sure you have like a quiet place because I don't have anyone but Asher and then boyfriend comes over but he knows already let your significant other if y'all don't live together or whatever in my situation I've already let him know I don't want him to be here when I have class the next morning like and yeah 
my like core class, my real like AMP class is the only real class that I have this semester. AMP um, terminology and lab, those is really like the same class. So those two days out of the week, the day nights before that, I don't want him coming over here. You really just have to like, that's what you have to do. Like literally, I'm also having problems when it comes to people calling my phone, like my friends or my family. I don't really have that many friends, but my family or my friends call, I'm answering. I have to try not to do that. Like that's the problem with me because I always feel like something could be wrong. So I answer and then I couldn't answer and hang up. But I have a hard time getting off the phone with people. As y'all can see, my clips be long as hell of me talking. Like I just, I don't know, but my timer went off probably five minutes ago. So I'm gonna just wrap this up and just let y'all know like, first week was great. 